All right, so I'm gonna do a quick opening of uh, this 100 sorted rares. Shout out to my boy Mike who got me this for my birthday. It's funny because this was actually on my Amazon wish list and I just never got around to getting it. And the whole reason I kind of got into this obsessive collecting is because I bought the thousand commons from Cosmic Gaming. I think it was Cosmic Gaming. Um, so yeah, I bought a couple of those boxes, but I always wanted to get this one. So let's see what we get. Grab, a... Grab some scissors. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through them really quick and then scan them. So it was about 50 bucks, he said. And uh, I mean, I know how these things work, so it's 100. They're probably gonna be uh, 50 cent commons, but it doesn't matter to me because I'm just trying to add to my collection. So just in case anybody wants to buy one of these, kind of know what to expect. Okay, cool. Here we go. What do we got? Oh yeah, in the back it says one rare planeswalker, 15 rares. Oh cool, so they split it out by color. All right, oops. What is that? Okay, so there's the planeswalker. I think that is Commander 21. Oops. I don't know if I, I don't think I have this card, but all right, let's go through them really quick and then I'm going to scan them and just kind of give an idea of what the value is. So we've got Gideon, Champion of Justice. Um, seems, seems pretty cool. Damn, his ult is minus 15. Okay, what set is that? Uh, Zendikar, I think. Conqueror's Play, Pledge. Dragon's Maze, I finished. Uh, Renounce the Guilds. Dragon Skill General. Um, forged. Fate Reforged, I think. Regal. Caracol. Light of the Legion. Dagatar the Adamant. Seance. That card looks cool. Ooh, uh, Masters 25, sweet. Decree of Justice. Johnny's Last Stand, Lena the Selfless Champion, Parhelion 2, or the Spark. I might actually need this card. I'm getting close on my War of the Spark. Ignite the Beacon, Isolate, <gasps> Bounty Agent. What, Gus? You want to open some cards? Fall of the... Oh, sorry. Fall of the Thran, Evra... Halle, Halsan, whatever, uh, Dominaria, Aetherstorm Rock. So it's a good mixture of, uh, these are all the whites. It's a good mixture of sets. This is Commander 20, Ravenous Gigantotherium. Never seen that card, but it looks pretty cool. Rebuking Ceremony, not sure what set that is. Thing, I forget. Vivid Revival, Vivian's Arcbow, Mask Admirers. What set is that? I've never seen that symbol. Deep Root Champion, Ixalan, which I've completed. Primal Might, Emperor's Vanguard, Ixalan, Splinter Fright, Shifting Ceratops, Woodland Wanderer. What is that one? These are some symbols I haven't seen before. Sy Sylvan Advocate, Awakening of v Vitu Ghazi, or the Spark. Swarm Shambler, Hunter's Prowess. I have one other card with this symbol, but I'm not sure what it is. Hatchery Spider, Worker of the Wilds, Biomantric Mastery. So I guess those are the greens. Oh, we're getting into multicolor, I guess. We have Noyandar Royal Shaper. 
Rakshasa, Rakshasa Vizier, Avangol Runebinder, Death Grasp. I think I have enough cards for this set to start bindering it. Cold Eyed Selkie. That's creepy. That's a commander card. Eldritch Moon, uh, Stitcher's Graft. Spark Trooper, Rags to Riches, Fleet Wheel Cruiser, Roll Reversal, Scrap Heap Scrounger, that sounds familiar, I don't know why. Key to the City, Tangarth First Mate, Seer's Sundial, ooh, Commander Legends, I might need that. And Find Finality, sweet. Yeah, so it looks like so far all of these will have a binder to go in, unless I already have them. Let's see what we get in the second one. What is this? I don't know what that is. Um, okay, we got some Aether Revolt. Baral's Expertise, Aether Tide Whale. That's kind of cool. Curator of Mysteries, Zender Split, Eye of Wisdom. That looks pretty weird. Oh, it's a Battle Bonds. I'm just about to bind our Battle Bonds. Uh, Born of the Gods, I think. Arbiter of the Ideal, Quicksmith Spy, Guardian of Tazim, Whelming Wave, Illusionary Gains, Nimble Obstructionist, Portal Mage, Talran Sky Summoner, New Perspectives, Nascent Metamorph, Lunar Mystic. Oh wow, so they went with some uh, vintage. Are these vintage? Very cool. I really like the older cards. Ancestral Memories, I guess so there's only one. Overwhelming Denial, Mind Reaver, Scatter to the Winds, oh sweet. Ninth edition. Yogmoth Demon. These are in really good shape too. Oh, and some mastery cards. Ravenous Trap. Arkwell's Bloodfast. Asylum Visitor. Mephetic Ooze. Magus of the Abyss. Memoricide. Uh, what is this? Scars of Mirrodin. Yeah, I don't have many rares from Scars of Meriden. Memorize that. That looks cool. I don't think I have that. Damnable Pact. Deathbringer Regent. Drain is Chosen. Shadow's Verdict. Sil Silumgar Assassin. Yogmoth's Vile Offering. Timurit Calls the Dead. Arkwell's Bloodfast. Vein Drinker. It's a commander card. Delver Unto Evil, Healy Interruption, what is that? I haven't seen that one. Flame Blade Angel, Wild Evocation, Magma Giant, Volcanic Vision, Eldrazi Obligator, Territorial Gorger, Hellkite Igniter, Charm Breaker Devils, Immolation Shaman, Imminent Doom, Widespread Panic, Crater Elemental, Arc Bond, uh, what set is this? Forget. I'm about to bind to this one as well. Uh, Dwarven Shrine. Sweet. Uh, another commander. Heart Piercer Manticore. And Rite of Ruin. So if you're looking to buy one of these, I, I don't know if they do, I, I doubt they do the exact same commons, but, or I mean rares. But that's what you're going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and scan these in, and then I will do a price update to see what the price or what the value of these cards is as at this time all right so after a quick scan of the cards um, the total value came out to be 22 dollars so i use a different app it uses the market low so 22 dollars uh, we have our most expensive card here from battle bonds that was 72 cents and then our cheapest card from commander 20 was uh, eight cents, I believe. So I like to always ask, is it worth it? 
and oh and th these are the ones i don't have bindered uh that i don't own currently and these are the ones that i do so i mean that's a win for me i always like to ask is it worth it um i mean financially obviously you're not going to get rich buying these things uh, i like these type of things because as a collector you know i could go out and get these cards you know just buy every single one off a website and have them shipped to me but that's just boring like opening a box seeing surprises and just basically looking at the cards and then my favorite part is putting the cards in the binder so that it's just kind of like relaxing for me you know to just put the binder or put the cards in in the correct binders where they go it's just kind of like uh calming for me so is it worth it for me yes um and then you can decide on if it's worth it for you uh, based off of this but yeah i just wanted to give a little look into what one of these guys looks like found on amazon so worth it and i'm going to go binder these guys up